If looks, money or natural talent weren't a factor, would you still be doing the job that you do? We came out in the city to find who the public feels has the best job in the world and why. For 30% of students leaving the Wimmera for university or work opportunities in the city, this expo is giving them hands-on experience to make that choice. The Victorian Government have revealed that Melbournians are volunteering 12% less each year. I've come to the Australian Volunteer Coast Guard to speak to Jim Peterson about why he feels that this is the case. Horsham could be Australia's tidiest town. State Judge Ron Williamson came to inspect. Been up to the primary school to uh, see the work that they're doing and the new buildings they've got there. A four-time state winner and national finalist last year, the council is coming up with new initiatives to win the prize in 2010. Our success in the past has shows we can come up with new initiatives every year and we've done that again this year. To motivate the town, the council give out 10 Tidy Town Awards to Horsham residents. Horsham certainly encourages everybody to participate as much as possible. The Community Action Award went to Horsham's 50 years of Wimmera Rock concert. 50 years of uh, rock history in the area, which I didn't know about. And I'm very uh, sad that I missed the weekend itself. Horsham's organising committee is hoping this is their year. And after all the years I've been involved, I still get nervous. State Judge Ron Williamson says Horsham is a clean place. It's always a marvellous place to visit. It's, uh, if you look around the place, there's never any rubbish. But isn't giving away any results? Well, I've still got more to see here, and um, then I've got another two weeks of judging in other towns. The winner of the state award will be announced in Beechworth on October 9. Kate Watts, Win News. With political apathy on the rise and many Victorians not interested in politics on a daily basis, it appears that it will be the issues closer to home that will motivate Victorians for the direction they vote in this year's state election. I'm at the Sandringham Football Club where the AFL have announced this morning that they're setting up a new VFL Academy to make it easier for the young talent pool coming from the TAC Cup to make it into AFL. The Sandringham Zebras are very happy themselves after their 2001 best and fairest player, James Magna, has made it onto the rookie list for the Melbourne Demons. This is Kate Watts on location for Newsline.